Hey guys, it's Todd from Like-Minded Lunatics bringing you, yeah, it's another drink play swear. Hey, it's all we do around here. I mean, besides desperately trying to convince the world that we're tough guys, even though deep down we're schoolboys, we're mama's boys, it's all we've ever really done around here. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Drink Play Swear, and welcome back to Like Mind Lunatics. You know that Like Mind Lunatics is not just me here at Drink Play Swear. No, it's not. It's also my buddy, writing partner, and co-founder of Like Mind Lunatics, Mark Gifford. Bang! Please hit that uh, that Friday night videos up. They're great. They're the best stuff on the channel. If you're not watching those already, you're not watching the best stuff on YouTube as far as I'm concerned. And bang! If you haven't done so already, please bang! Please! I'm not above begging. Please ask my wife. I'm not above begging. Uh, bang, please hit the subscribe button. She's gonna love that joke. Um, so we can see how big this family of like-minded weirdos is getting. Gets bigger every day, and we're grateful for that. So what is it we do here at Drink Place Where? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. We play a game, usually a classic one. Pair it with a beverage. A what, Todd? And uh, yeah. Uh, we tell stories. We tend to talk a little bit, don't we? What are we playing here today on the Nintendo Entertainment System? It's Caveman Games, a truly shitty game. So excited to get into it with you. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. What are we drinking today? Well, something I don't consider shitty at all. No, that's right. It's a Jim Beam and Coke. Get yourself something. If it pleases you. All right. Let's do it. Caveman Games. This is a game that I played um, when I was a kid, probably about 9, 10 years old, rented it from Blockbuster Video or Hollywood Video. And it, it's one of those games that it's got a bunch of mini games in it, right? Just like, um, what, Skate or Die, California Games, or any of the, like, uh, you know, Olympic video games. And you think, oh, I'm going to like it because it's got a bunch of different games. So if I don't like one of them, uh, you know, I can throw that one away and I play a bunch of different ones. <laughs> so let's get a look at it. The first event is clubbing. I am Gronk. <laughs> Caveman Gronk. He's what you call an all rounder. You see, he's kind of good at everything. And I need that to even have a chance in this game. Let's get into the story while we're starting intimidation mode, which, as you can see, I'm not doing well at. I'm on the left there. I'm Gronk. Okay. Now we're in the clubbing phase. I'm going to do my best to stay alive here. I don't have strategy. I'm not good at this game. I barely remember it. I barely right now remember it. Yeah, look at that, though. Knocked that dude on his ass, didn't I? Bye. <laughs> it's like a Coyote and Roadrunner little uh, pause in the air. I like that. All right. When we talk about the story today, what do we want to talk about? Well, I want to talk about tattoos today. That's right, tattoos. I read something interesting in Smithsonian Magazine about the fact that uh, we have record of tattoo people tattooing themselves uh, for more than 5,000 years um, in one form or another. And uh, we found some old Egyptian bones uh, that have the, the bones have markings on them that indicate tattooing. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, we've been people have been tattooing themselves for thousands of years, and why? Well, um, <clears throat> sometimes to commemorate something like an achievement in life, right? Sometimes uh, to remember something, a, a loved one or or an event, you know. Uh, sometimes it was actually done as punishment, you know. Uh, sometimes just for decoration. Uh, so I want to talk today about my look at this shit. This would not pass today. Mate toss. I gotta throw my wife. Okay. I'm not gonna be uh, good at this. My 21st century sensibilities have not prepared me for... <laughs> Look at this! Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, this looks like a bad uh, newspaper comic, doesn't it? Can I pause? Yes. I want to get into the story a little bit, and then we'll do mate toss. Okay? Can, can we handle that? I only have one tattoo. I thought I would tell the story of that today. Uh, when I was 19 years old, in fact, right uh, on my birthday, I believe, I went and got my tattoo with a couple of buddies. We all got tattoos at the same time. Why did I get a tattoo? Well, uh, I would say two main reasons. One is, uh, well, I'll show it to you real quick. 
I have the Metallica M, and you can see it's uh, pretty faded by now, um, because I'm not 19 anymore. The Metallica M. So, reason number one is that I loved and still do love Metallica. In fact, I'm going to see them uh, later this year. I'll be there with uh, my my wife and my brother-in-law and uh, LML Mark Gifford as well will be there. So, that yeah, that's one of the reasons I did it. But let's be honest, what, what are one of the other reasons I did it? Seriously, it was because I wanted to be a tough guy. What am I doing? I'm, I'm having trouble figuring out what it wants me to do here. I'm supposed to be... Okay. No idea. Eventually, I'm going to let go of her, but you know, the Nintendo has two buttons, B and A. I'm, I'm pushing both of them frantically. Okay, I threw her. Let's see what happens. She's not impressed. She's not mad at me, but she's not impressed. I would say that's pretty representative of my life. Uh, anyway, uh, what's the second reason I got my tattoo and maybe the most, uh, like, uh, what the deepest psychological reasoning? I wanted to be a tough guy. I really did. Now, you see me, handsome 42-year-old grizzled gray Todd Wright. I was not always this man. No, at 19 years old, I had dark hair. I was thin. I I, I had no facial hair. I, I was, uh, you know, rail thin and, and nervous. <laughs> Sweaty palms, uh, trying to figure out who I was. And I wanted to look tough. Wearing black t-shirts. Okay, well, that hasn't changed. Uh, I had a chain wallet and combat boots. And yeah, I wanted a tattoo. What You know, what looks good with a couple of camel cigarettes a tattoo. So I go with my buddies to get this tattoo, and we're excited. We pick out what we want, and uh, to be honest with you, they, they, they gave me exactly what I wanted uh, in terms of the design and the size and the placement on the arm. I have no complaints. My only complaint, honest, ooh, look at that. I think I did a little better this time. My only complaint is with myself because of all my friends, I uh, handled the process the worst, okay? Um, most of my buddies were fine. In fact, they were joking with each other, casually having conversation. Hey, all right, look at that. She's happy with me. Um, casual conversation, and uh, I was like, not even low-key freaking out. I was fucking freaking out. It, it doesn't feel good. I'm not a pain guy. Do you know what I mean? Some people in their lives, they uh, they like a little pain. I don't. I don't. It's not a good time for me. So I had a hard time. And I'm, I'm a pale-complected guy. Uh, you know, I'm Irish. Well, I'm a little Irish. I'm whatever. I'm English. You know, and uh, w w when we're upset or embarrassed, we get red real fast. And I was real red in the face, enough to the point that my friends were kind of making fun of me a little bit. I had to take a break halfway through and go smoke a cigarette because I was in pain. Sorry, that's just honest. And uh, I heard one of my buddies, Dylan, I mentioned his name because I'm not his friend anymore. <laughs> anyway, he was making fun of me and saying that I was about to pass out. And that became the rumor uh, round... Uh, the friendship group who wasn't there. I almost passed out. Fine. Anyway, I went back to it and finished filling it in and finished my tattoo. And uh, maybe I almost did pass out, but I didn't. And I didn't pass out when my kids were born either. So those were the big moments. And it worked out just fine for me. Um, as a little end note on this story, I will say that I did not... Now, I was in college at that time, right? And I didn't live with my parents. Um, but I did spend weekends uh, at my parents' house. And eventually, I was going to have to tell them I had a tattoo. So after I the tattoo had healed, okay, and the bandage was off, one night, I uh, sat down at my parents' dining room table. And I said, uh, hey, guys, uh, what would you think if I uh, someday got a tattoo and uh they pause for a minute my mom stands up she's wringing her hands you know oh my you know i don't know about that todd w kind of walks out of the room and back in the room and out of the room and in the room you know you know you know the, the, my this character you know what i'm talking about my dad is just sitting there looking at me he goes hmm well i don't have a tattoo son but um i guess if uh if you made sure that it wasn't something an employer would see at a job interview. <laughs> my dad, my business first 
Republican dad, right? Of course, that's what he thinks. It's not bad advice, though. Um, if you're a young person, not established yet, uh, make sure it's somewhere where a uh, potential boss can't see it. Because, uh, like it or not, the world thinks a certain thing of you, right? The, based on how you look. And I said, okay, uh, thanks for the advice, guys. And on the way back to my bedroom, my mom says, it would, Todd, it would be okay with me if you did, but it makes me nervous. I go, okay. Go back to my room. And uh, that was enough for me uh, to five minutes later come back out and be like, okay, guys, so now I got to tell you, like, I already have one. <laughs> and they were okay with it. Look at this. I do like the art style in here, but this game fucking sucks, okay? Well, I don't even know how to get started. Okay. What? What? <laughs> that was my performance exactly. Uh, getting a tattoo is bank. Uh, okay, we're done here. Let's wrap it up. But, um, you know, I just in closing, what I want to say about tattoos is I uh, do not regret the tattoo. I still do love Metallica, and I still, I still do love that there's a story to tell about it. Um... But you don't see me standing in line to get any more tattoos. So I'm curious, uh, you know, about how you feel about tattoos. Because uh, I don't feel like tattoos are a trend that's going away anytime soon. But I also have to say I have many friends who don't have a single tattoo. And uh, also aren't, uh, you know, uh, getting in line uh, to get them. Okay, well, we'll wrap it up there. Uh, Caveman Games, garbage. <laughs> my bravery level getting at my tattoo... Uh, garbage, but I have it, and I'm I'm proud of it. Uh, let's uh, wrap it up here. Hey, I'm Todd. In between now and the next time I talk to you, <sighs> see ya.